Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we're going to go ahead and paint uh, Olaf from the movie Frozen. Uh, so this is a reclaimed jacket. It was sun faded. Uh, so what I did is I mixed uh, the same teal that you see on there and sprayed the entire jacket. Uh, making it uh, pretty much just refreshing the entire jacket. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just sketching out some graphics in the background which uh, will allow me to determine where the center of the jacket is and it'll allow me to, um, to, to know where to place Olaf. So I uh, went ahead and did that and then applied the stencil. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply some heat so the glue can stick on the jacket. Once it's ready, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, cover the jacket uh, background and start peeling each section one at a time. So using a regular brush, I applied about two or three coats of white and trying to define where the shadows and the highlights are. And then I came back with the airbrush with additional white and just applied some highlights to try to give it a more um, softer look uh, to the character. And of course, after each coat of white, I'm drawing in between using my blow dryer. Um, this will allow me to go a little bit faster it'll dry the paint for the next layer so I wouldn't have to use that much paint in the next layer uh, and it, the process goes a lot, a lot quicker so I like using the blow dryer uh, whenever I can so as you can see I did the rest of the body off camera so you wouldn't have to be bored watching the same process so essentially I did just that um, you know, a couple layers of uh, white using the, the brush and then coming back with the airbrush and throwing some highlights on there. By using both the brush and the airbrush, I'm getting this uh, weird effect where it kind of looks like snow. Uh, it's, it's not super smooth, but it has a little bit of texture, so I kind of like that effect. Uh, so yeah, it's turning out pretty good. Um, I'm allowing a little bit of the blue down there on the feet uh, to showcase a little bit of the shadow there. Uh, and then I'm just removing the, um, uh, the decal there and getting ready to paint some additional um, darker colors. And right here I'm using uh, watered down royal blue with the regular brush. And uh, because it's watered down, it gets really soaked into the uh, fabric. So it allows me to, you know, give it a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a fade uh, coming from the inside of the mouth to the outside. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. And with the previous, and similar to the previous three, two, one, and similar to the previous three, two, one, and similar to the previous uh, process, I went ahead and applied several coats of white. Uh, trying to dry in between and trying to get that white as white as I can. I'm also applying a little bit of brown onto the eyebrows uh, and then after that's dry I add a... So the brand of paint that I'm using is Kratex and it's uh, specially made for airbrushing. It's a little bit thinner than your normal acrylic. Uh, it's still an acrylic uh, and it's still water-based so um, you can use your off-the-shelf um, acrylic paint that you find in Michaels or Walmart or Target or anything like that. Uh, if you want to use them for airbrushing, you can just add a little bit of water and they'll, they'll, be, uh, they'll work just fine on your airbrush. And now for my favorite part, the nose. I went ahead and started with a medium orange and then I'm going to go ahead and work my way uh, to a darker and darker orange. I think that's coming out really cool. What do you guys think? Uh, leave me a comment down below uh, hit like if you're liking the video so far uh, this way I can keep making videos and uh, yeah it looks pretty cool so far what do you guys think cleaning my brush and then applying a lighter and lighter uh, shade of orange uh, finishing off with a little bit of hints of white uh, making the um, carrot look a little bit glossy and here comes the big reveal this is my favorite part uh, removing the stencil and uh, seeing what came of it. So look at that. It looks really sharp. Um, I, li I like the way that turned out. Very sharp. And uh, this is why I like using the stencil. You can use some masking tape. You don't have to use that. If you're not even using an airbrush, you can just, you know, 
use your regular brush but uh, for me I like having that like sharp edge on that character to make it really pop out and stand out and we're almost to the end guys so let's go ahead and add the final touches and add a little bit of uh, sticks on the top for the hair and for the arms so what I'm doing now is just applying a little bit of white to make sure that the brown that I put on top of it will stand out uh, so I'm doing that while of course drawing in between and then what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of highlights a little bit of white a little bit of uh, lighter uh, brown if you want and there you have it now let's finalize this painting by putting a whole bunch of uh, dots for snow and snowflakes and that's gonna finish this painting off so let me know what you guys think I think it looks pretty cool if you want me to paint something for you the contact information is it in the description below this particular jacket is on sale on my Etsy shop so go ahead and take a look at that if you're interested and I'll see you in the next video hi everyone I'm Olaf and I like warm hugs <laughs>